Hey guys, Haz here at Shield K9. I'm here with Kelvin. We're manning the Shield K9 booth at the uh, International Pet Expo. This is our first Pet Expo. We've actually never really done one of these. We're uh, a little bit new to all of this, so we're gonna see kind of how it goes. Today I brought Yaxi as an example of one of our uh, protection dogs. Yaxi's a family protector. As you guys are gonna see shortly, he's gonna be here with my family. A lot of people ask us, are our family protection dogs safe with kids? And it wouldn't say it's a family protector if it wasn't. If I wouldn't trust them with my own kids, I certainly won't trust them with yours. All right, guys, so we're gonna go take a look around. I actually haven't even had a chance. It's midday, I haven't been, been around the expo. We'll just walk around and see kind of who's out, who's here, see what there is to see. I'll bring Yaks with me for a nice little walk and uh, we'll go like that. Yaxi, with me. Good boy, yeah. All right guys, so Yaxi's in a functional heel, so there's no focus required here. The dog just needs to stay next to me. This is probably, with me, the busiest we've ever been with him. That's a good boy, come on man. It is crazy here. I'm gonna use my hand and my leg to provide him with tactile cues so that he can look around, because the mistake is to expect him to not look around and that he can see what's going on without stressing him out so much that he has to worry, you know, oh, you know, I can't see what's going on. So I just provide physical tactile cues for the dog and he's able to do what he wants to do. You can see he stays with me, but he can look around, which is very important. And we're gonna try to prevent him from getting uh, bum rushed by another dog, which in this environment, uh, can happen. <laughs> that's my boy, Yaxi. Ah, ah, ah. No peeing on the garbage can. I know that's what he's thinking of doing. No, not him. Thank you. Somebody asked to pet him, but that's just too much going on right now. I don't want to. No pets right now. Good boy. <laughs> Very happy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sit. Good. You guys can go. Yeah. Oh. Sit with me. This is just functional obedience, guys. It should make your life easy. That's the whole point. Yaxi's really handling the stress very well of being here because make no mistake, for a dog like him, it's quite stressful. He's being asked to maintain tight control in an extremely busy environment. So it's good training for him, but it's also not so easy because he has never done it to this extent before. But obedience is obedience, no matter what. All right, guys, so I'm here with Chris Rolox. Chris is a OG in the game. Ooh, he's an OG in the game. <laughs> he's doing sure. this. He's been doing this for a while. Man, well, I started in 94. Um, we used to do movie work, still pictures, got into the law enforcement. Pet dogs forever, so we do a lot of behavioral. We also do things like the working dog stuff, protection training, scent work, you name it, we do it. And now we're getting into the, uh, the product line. And that started only because being in the working dog industry, you know, I always had to order from abroad, so I figured, let me uh, do my thing. Do it, bring it in yourself. Exactly, yeah. it seems to be working out. It's funny, the same thing for me. I wow. feel like we just couldn't get what we wanted, so we're constantly, I was like, well, I could either buy it one at a time or I could buy it a hundred at a time. Yeah. I've, right, I've actually bought it. stuff from Chris before, so. <laughs> I keep yeah, buying yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> oh, <laughs> or man. when are you getting back an IGP? I had to say it. <laughs> when are you getting back at IGP? When, when I get my new shepherd. Oh. I've got this big mouth. Long story short, dog is supposed to be my wife's. Doesn't like anybody but me. Oh, okay. So I've got this big mouth. Well, I'm just playing with him right now. Yeah. Eventually looking to get a check line shepherd and get back in the game again. Uh, nice. Could be a year from now, two years. I'm not too sure. It depends on business as well. Wow, Good. you get me jealous when I see this dog. Eh? Wow, he's real social. <laughs> Oh man. I, I actually, he was my, my last IGP prospect. I love the mouths. Ah, oh. Come here. Oh, there down. You go. Wow, that was quick. Yeah. Nice response. He's social. <laughs> I didn't bring my IGP dog. He's not so friendly. <laughs> oh, really? Are you kidding? Gage? Oh, he's no, a nasty really? fucker. Nasty. How do you pass Na a temperament test? <laughs> hey, 
There were some secrets, Chris. <laughs> okay, I don't and for just nine ninety nine a month. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's way more than that. We passed everything. The the vet check. They stuck a thermometer up his oh, ass. Oh no! At nationals. He was okay. Well, wow. he wasn't happy, but he was okay. <laughs> and they had to let me trial. Oh, <laughs> you're <Yeah>. good, man. <laughs> You got your name on the gear now and stuff. Yeah, so. man. I'm yeah. old, man. This is where you go when you're old now. It's, hey, you don't have to, there's no pressure. The only pressure is to sell it. That's it. Like, there's exactly. no, people aren't like, oh, you know, he isn't listening anymore. It's like, I've often thought about dry goods. I'm like, you know what? Dry goods is the way to go. It's, it's inanimate. I buy it, I sell it. That's it. There's no, no, in be well, there is in between. But, you see, you yeah. got it. Yeah, there you yeah. go. You'll be like me. Good. When uh, when I'm a little further along, I'm probably gonna just do that to you. <laughs> you'll, by then, you'll be gone, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The way he says it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm only 54. Okay, easy. Oh, I thought you were like 65. <laughs> Yo, it was nice seeing you. <laughs> yeah, it was good to see you. Well, they say black don't crack, right? It's easy. And so I thought, 65 for sure. I wear the hat to hide the uh, green. I'm not yeah, hiding man. anything, bro. It's coming already. And I'm f Where can they find you, Chris? Well, we're at 643 McCowan Road. We're in Scarborough, the intersection of McCowan and Lawrence. And Beautiful. we uh, recently moved there, uh, what was it, in 2017. Oh. I used to be at Brimley and Shepherd. I was there for about 18 years, and there was a fire. Yeah, oh. Yaks, come here. There we go. Yes, nice. Great control. Well, there you go. Yeah, so we had a fire next door, so we were God. forced to move. Yeah. yeah. Sad, man. I lost my bird. Your bird? Yeah, I had a sulfur crested cockatoo. Oh, those are well cool, man. Well trained, man. Oh, God. But what are you going to do? It's life, right? Good luck with the booth. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I'll everybody be around. knows you anyway. I'm trying to do what you're doing, man. I don't know. This, I'm telling late, you, man. this is better than dog training. We'll see what happens. Well, once you get this thing, like, I don't know, maybe you, it looks like you're pretty close. You got all your boys. Well, I got everybody Get them doing here. it. It's just, I have a trust thing, so yeah. I need to be. <laughs> your wife help you, Chris? There's no trust. <laughs> That's how little trust you have. Then I got a controller. She gets a little heavy. <laughs> oh, put that in. Make sure that makes it in. It only yeah. all <laughs> it's all on camera, Chris. There's <laughs> audio, too, right there. It's like clear as day. You can even whisper. That thing's going to pick it up. <laughs> She's a good woman. Yeah, yeah. She's, you know, best thing that <laughs> ever happened to me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, take a video of this dog. This is one from our training program. Wendell. Wendell. Guys, this is Wendell. Remember Wendell from our inaugural opening contest? I think uh, on, on our opening day at a new facility, Wendell came second at the obedience competition. He's still doing his thing. He looks tired though. Can I take a video with your dog? Sure, yeah. He's so, I've never actually held one of these things or petted. I won't hold him, I'll pet him. Hey, buddy. He's nice and crunchy. How old is he? Four years old? Oh, wow. He's soft. Look at you. Look at you. Adorable. Oh, you, you, you. You, 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 you. I can see the Chihuahua. Guys, I'm here with Kevin. Yep. Kevin Wu. He's the uh, owner of Captain Canine. Captain Canine. How long? We've known each other a long time, Kevin. Long time. More I know you years, in, I think. No? Yeah, 10 years probably. R roughly yeah, around. from dog. It's funny, people ask me how long I've been training dogs. I always say 10 years, but really, yeah, yeah, I guess yeah, that's yeah. not true anymore. I've yeah, been saying yeah. that for too long yeah, yeah. because it's like everyone's like, oh yeah, I know you for 10 years. I'm like, God, <laughs> well, I didn't meet you when I first started. So, yeah, 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 yeah. what do you do, Kevin? Basically, you do Python most likely yeah. and also behavior modification. Yeah. So, guys, Kevin is actually the gentleman through which I have my Caucasian of Charka named Kevin. <laughs> uh, you know, I didn't actually even think about it like that I was naming him after you. So I saw Kevin post on Facebook, like his clients had this dog and they yeah. didn't, they couldn't keep the dog anymore. And I said, the dog's like so handsome. It's not the only king keeper. It's most likely, I know, even though the dog being trained, after work, they still have a difficulty oh, for handling sure. that dog. So for I'm like, uh, sure. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, it's just too much for that. Yes, um, we saw it. Was too, daughter, much. Uh, too much. It's way too much for them. Yeah. And for sure, somebody's going to get hurt. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But um, so, anyways, yeah, Kevin's the guy through which I found out about Kevin, <laughs> my dog. But he came with the name James. Oh, yeah. And I was like, this dog is not James. Okay. James is too fancy. <laughs> That's what they called him, was James. I'm like, right, it's right, too right. fancy. Right, right, right. He's more like, Relax, you know. So yeah, I said, yeah, Kevin. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Place. Good. I said. Yeah. Yeah. Platz. Good boy. I said. I Platz. All right, guys. Well, I'm wrapping it up. Well, that's not true. Actually, we're like 2:30 today. 
so I'm not wrapping it up, but I feel like I'm wrapping it up. Talked to a lot of people, seen some uh, old friends, had fun walking around, seeing all the other booths and uh, all the different products. Shield K9 Ottawa, guys, is a thing. I haven't formally announced it, so if you've made it this far in the vlog, I guess this is my informal, formal announcement. The Shield K9 Ottawa is a thing, all right? I'm gonna informally, formally announce that now, so if you've made it this far through the vlog, you're gonna hear about it, and I'll announce it again later, obviously. We're opening a location in Ottawa, really excited. We've partnered with Beds for Tails, which is a boarding kennel in Ottawa. We're gonna be offering full service training, all the same training that we offer here at our locations in uh, Southern Ontario. We're gonna be now offering in Ottawa, which is really exciting for us. I know there's a lot of people up there that need help with their dogs, so there's gonna be more on that soon. Stay tuned, but I'm gonna probably, maybe I shouldn't make this promise, but I plan to be at the Ottawa Pet Expo. So I'm gonna have to do another one of these. I'm gonna go and meet and greet people in Ottawa. I look forward to uh, hopefully seeing some of you guys there. I hope you enjoyed my little vlog. Me, Yaxi, Calvin, we had a good time. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment below. If you hate me, please comment below. There is no better way for me to see how much you hate me than if you would to comment below. And if you love me, comment below too. But especially if you hate me, make sure you comment below so I know that you don't like me. <laughs>